goes off into planning with Crystal. Today's unboxing is a Space NK goodie bag slash gift with purchase. This is the More Than Makeup gift. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I bought to get the gift. We're going to unbox the gift. We're going to try out the products. I've actually got some of them on today. And yeah, I'll let you know what I think of this one. But like I said, we're going to start off by looking at the two products I bought to get this gift. So I got this in December 2022. Hence why the video is going up now. Towards the end of December, in fact. Now, this was around a few months ago. And it's a bit of a funny one with Space NK. They seem to be doing this thing now where different offers appear for different people. Generally, they're open to everybody who hasn't had that gift before. But you just don't see it unless you've, like, behaved in a certain way. Like, not spent some any money there for a while. That kind of thing. So, if you do see any offers and I've not posted about them, please do let me know. Because the chances are everyone can take advantage of them. We just don't always know about them. So let's get right into it. So this particular makeup gift is worth over £100 and it was free when you spent £60 on makeup. So my makeup items actually came in a little drawstring bag like this, which I don't think I've seen from Space NK in all the years I've been shopping with them. So something a bit different. It might be because it's Christmas time and I guess it could be a gift or something, but it had a nice little like bow wrapped on it and I thought it was a really cute little cloth drawstring bag. It's the little things in life that, you know, excite me. So what did I buy? So the first product might be a bit of a surprise if you've watched me for a while because I've always said I'm not really massively into primers and that is until this one came along. So this is by Tatcha. It is the Liquid Silk Canvas. It's obviously full size, 30 gram, one fluid ounce. This cost me 48 pounds, which is, I know, very, very expensive for a primer. However, I actually tried like a travel size version of this when I was on holiday in the US recently because I don't think the travel version is available over here. Anyway, I got it over there. So let me tell you about this product. So picture this, I'm in Florida, it's August. It's about as hot as it gets and your makeup just melts off. Like I don't even know what the point in wearing makeup is. But I was having a couple of bad skin days and I felt like I wanted to put a bit of makeup on, even just a bit of CC cream, just to even things out and make myself look, you know, a little bit more human. Anyway, this was the one product that sort of made all of the difference. So this just seemed to allow my makeup to sit on it perfectly. I didn't then get that kind of midday oiliness that I sometimes get from oily combo, but I also didn't slide off my face. It lasted all day and beyond and I thought I need to get this in a full size because my little one is just about running out. So would definitely recommend this. If you're somebody who needs your makeup to last a whole long time, if you're worried about it coming off because you live in a hot climate or you're on a really, you've got a really long day or a really long night, I would definitely recommend trying this. So Tatcha were always famous for their silk primer, the one that's in a compact, which I think is more for drier skin types. I think this is more for like your oily combo like myself and it just works a dream. It says liquid layers of silk prime help makeup last longer while minimizing excess shine. So there you go, it actually does exactly what it says it does. The other products that I got to spend the £60, I did go over slightly, is from NARS, and I think this was 20 something pounds. It's the Soft Matte Complete Concealer, 6.2 grams, 0.21 ounce. Now, this is not a new product, it's been around for a number of years, I've just never tried it. So I tried it for the first time today and I actually really like it. Not 100% sure this is the absolute best shade for me. I've used it to kind of cover a blemish here, which is a struggle and like under the eyes and things but I feel like it's a little sort of warmer than my skin tone so perhaps I've chosen the wrong shade. The great thing about Space NK is whether you buy online or in store you can return uh, for a refund or exchange the products if the shade or products isn't right for you whatever the product is even if you've tried it which is quite unusual not many other stores do that. I think Sephora do it in the US but in the UK I can't think of any other online stores or in store stores that will allow you to exchange essentially a used product. So I've got it in the shade Canel, which is light 2.75. Like I said, it's that little bit warmer, but I was a little bit limited when I chose the shade from the Space NK website because it sold out of a lot of these. So this is a pop concealer. I've been applying it with a brush. I've got a concealer brush that I use to just like buff it into place under my eyes and then a different type of concealer brush for blemish setting. But it seems really good, it seems to stay in place, it's really creamy and like melty and it's just so easy, like I've never used a product as easy to apply as this, concealer wise. So if you are looking for a super super creamy concealer that just melts really easy into the skin and doesn't look like a concealer and just does what you want it to do, that seems brilliant. So really happy I picked it up. Like I said, touch and go whether it's the right shade. I don't think it's too obviously not the right shade, but we'll see. 
So let's get into the gift. It's the more than just makeup gift and there's some really good products in here. I'm quite impressed with some of the products in here. So we are going to have a look. It's in a standard little tiny box, which is pretty much the way they've gone with these gifts just lately. So we have had like a really big goodie bag, which came, I think it was November time. I'll put a link to the video there if you've not seen it, because that's a really big gift with purchase. But so this is just a little one. We also had a little cult beauty gift with purchase recently. Again, I will link it if you haven't seen it. Okay, so a whole range of products in here. And the first one is a full size. This is by Stila. It is a stay all day smudge stick waterproof eyeliner. It is 0.28 grams, 0.01 ounce. This full size retails at 16 pounds. And with this gift, you will get it in one of two shades. You don't get to choose. It's just like randomly selected. So you would either get it in Stingray, which is a black, which is what I've got, or you would get it in, I think it's called Lion's Mane, which is like a brown. It's got a super fine tip on it. And then you just roll it or turn it to get more products out. And as I'm saying that, oh, it is coming out. It's just so subtly coming out that I couldn't necessarily see it. So I've put this on my eyes today. It's super, super creamy, really easy to apply, really easy to work with. I do, however, have one complaint. As soon as you start moving your eyes, now obviously I've got hooded lids, which doesn't help with this issue, but it seemed to just keep stamping onto my eyelid and wipe it off and then it'd stamp again and would go around and around. So I've tried to pat on a little bit of setting spray to stop that happening. And I can't really tell in my camera viewfinder, hopefully that's fixed the issue. I've also then gone over with the eyeshadow to try and cover it, but such a shame because other than that, it was perfect. This is so creamy. It just draws on like a dream. You can do it as thick or as thin and as heavy handed or not as you would like. It's nice and black. There's no real kind of skipping or anything. And I really like it. If I can just get it to stop stamping on my eyelid. Any advice? Absolutely welcome on this. The only thing I don't get about this particular gift set is we actually get three mascaras, which for such a small gift seems like overkill. So the mascaras we get, We've got the Shantakai Longest Lash for Mill. This is a sample size, but it's worth £28.44. Full size would be 9 mil, and that would be £64. So it's a pretty high value. Then we've got an It Cosmetics Mascara. This is the Superhero Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara, 5 mil, 0.17 fluid ounce. This is actually a travel size worth £11. So it's a travel size, whereas the Shantakai is a sample. Yet the travel size is worth more than the sample because that other mascara is so expensive. And the third and final mascara, this is by RMS Beauty, and it is a straight up volumizing peptide mascara. It is the tiniest one, and it's only a one mil size. This is worth £2.50. A full size would be £25, and you would get 10 mil, so it's literally a tenth of a full size. So not great value for that last mascara, but at least it gives you the chance to see if it works, and you would probably still get a couple of weeks out of a mascara. As I often say, I don't actually wear mascara that much. I do uh, have my lashes tinted and curled a little bit and I use a lash serum, so I have more lashes than I would otherwise. So I try not to wear mascara because it seems to kind of relax the curl I've had put in. So I try not to use it. That's kind of, I guess, the point of having it done. So I don't get through much mascara. So these things last me ages anyway. So the reason why I've not opened them all right now is because the air gets to them and they go off. I would rather give them to people than have them go off and throw them away. Hence why there'll been pictures on the screen rather than me opening all these mascaras. Next up, not really makeup, more of a skincare item. It's by Charlotte Tilbury and it's the Charlotte's Magic Cream Instant Turnaround Moisturiser and it's the SPF 15 PA Plus version. 7 mil 0.2 fluid ounce. Originally it was listed as a 5 mil moisturiser, so surprisingly it's gone the other way around. Like sometimes you'll find with gift with purchases, the items are smaller than expected. It's unusual that they would be larger than expected. So I don't know if they subbed it out because they ran out or if they just made a mistake when they listed it, but this is what it looks like. I always find this too thick for my skin. My skin prefers the light version, so I will not be using this, I'll be passing it on, hence why I've not showed you what it's like, but I think most people know Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream by now. I'll put the value on the screen because I'd worked it out based on five mil, and it's actually seven, and I'm nothing if not precise. But 50 mil of this is 75 pounds, so it's a pretty pricey moisturizer. Nice way to try it if you haven't before. Next up, and a little sample from Borean. You guys probably know by now I love Aborian. I particularly love their CC creams. I've got one of them on today. And this is actually a recent discovery of mine. A couple of videos ago when I, probably my last Space NK video, I actually bought this in a full size. I think it was when I got the big goodie bag that I bought it. 
Anyway, this is Skin Hero. Now, the first couple of times I used it, I was like, okay, it applies nice. It's kind of like a primer, but it isn't doing anything. Then I used it for like a week and I was like, yeah, actually this stuff works. So it's called Skin Hero. It says bare skin perfect for seven days transformation. So essentially you can apply to this skin on a no makeup day and your skin just looks a little bit better. Not as much as if you put a CC cream or a foundation, but just a little bit better. At the same time, it's actually got ingredients in there that are improving your skin. So over time, your skin looks better. That is all there is to it. Really nice product. So this is a 5ml or 0.1 ounce, so pretty tiny. It's also silicone free. But this sample is actually worth £5 because the full size would be 40ml and £40. You can also buy these, I think, in a travel size. You can a lot of the Arborium products, which is good if you don't want to commit to the full size and you haven't got a sample. But yeah, I'd recommend it. I like that. Next, from Kevin Aqua. Aqua? Coin? You can pronounce it a few different ways. I'm sure I'm not doing it the right way. This is the Glass Glow Lip and it's in the shade Crystal Clear. 3.5 mil, 0.1 fluid ounce and it is a sample size. So it's just got a little wand like this. I have actually got a little bit of lip colour on my lips which is also out of this box. We're going to just apply that in a second. I did a little video of me applying it. Let me show you what this looks like and we can maybe pat some on top. So can you see there, it's a clear gloss, but it's got quite a lot of kind of shimmer in there. Just pat that on, it just adds a little bit of additional shine. So this is a sample size, it's worth £8.75. It's not a bad size, I mean, it's kind of a good one for like your handbag on a night out or something like that. And it might not be something you'd wear all the time. So you might appreciate having just a little one that you can just kind of use size at this time of year. But in that size, it's worth £8.75. An 8ml full size would be £20. Obviously, it's always nicer to get a full size, but I try and see the sort of value in having minis at times. Next up, we've got a little shadow stick and this is from Laura Mercier. Really like this. I have got this all of my eyelids today. So this is one of those twist up eye crayons and it's in the shade Rose Gold. So it's quite a subtle, almost nudie colour. But I quite like that about it. It's got a little bit of colour, but not sort of too much. So you could use it as like an overall wash of colour like I've done for sort of daytime, or you could use it as almost like a base um, for like a night look or more of a sort of powerful, bold day look. But I like this because it's super creamy. You can just literally draw it on. So you don't need, like if you're traveling, these are great because you don't need brushes. You can go in with a brush and blend it out, but I kind of feel like a little finger over the eyelid is plenty with this. So it is a sample size. It is half of a gram. Now you can get a full gram, like a full gram, you can get a gram travel size for £14, which of course would make this worth about £7. However, obviously it's worth less if you compare it to that full size. But I do like the fact that it's in there. I think it's a really nice shade. The shade is rose gold. Next up, a blush from NARS. And it's not the straight up orgasm version that we usually get. It's Orgasm X, which I personally prefer. I've actually got this on my cheeks today. It's pigmented. I like it. I prefer it to Orgasm because this has got more of a power and this is more of like a pinky shade, whereas Orgasm is more of like a peachy kind of shade, I would say. So I'm going to insert a little video of me here swatching this, but I really like this blush. So this is Orgasm X. There is a swatch of it. As you can see, it's quite highly pigmented, quite pink. I personally really like this one. Our sample size is 1.2 grams. It is worth £8.25. A full size would be 5 gram and 27.50. Next up, a couple of primers. First from Rare Beauty. This is always an optimist, the illuminating primer and it comes in a box. And this is what it looks like. This is a nice primer. It's definitely one that adds a little bit of a glow. So you can see here, it definitely adds that kind of instant radiance. It depends what you're looking for, but that in itself adds a glow. It's almost like a highlighter. It's so, so glowy. So this sample size is worth £4.10, a full size of 28ml, £23. The other primer in here is by Vive. It is the Radiance Primer 5ml, also known as Skin Nova. So here's the Rare Beauty one, and this one is the Skin Nova by Vive. So that one's more of a kind of subtle, almost golden undertone, whereas the Rare Beauty is all about the glow. So it depends on what you're looking for. I've used both. I like both. They do a fairly good job of keeping your makeup on, not as well as the Tatcha one for me personally, but you know, a pretty good one. Finally, we have got a lipstick from Rose Ink. 
and it's a satin lip color rich refillable lipstick although i wouldn't have thought it was refillable in this size because it is only a sample i say it's a sample you can get a travel set with this size of lipstick on i do plan to do a full-on video of the rose ink lipsticks just because i bought the set and want to like swatch a load and, and do more reviews and stuff so that will be coming soon but we've got a 1.2 gram 0 0.04 ounce lipstick I'll put the value for this on the screen. I thought it was the same as my travel size ones from the set and now I'm not so sure. I'll insert the video now of me applying the lipstick. Let's try this on. And here is a swatch of it. So this is the shade Persuasive. I quite like it. Obviously it's not quite as glossy as this until you put the gloss on top, but I actually quite like the two together. But I do like this kind of colour as like a day look or even a night look if you're doing a bit more of an eye. So I actually quite like this, quite happy with that. So that was the gift. Let me know in the comments what you think of everything we got. We got a little bit of everything. Like I said, three mascaras, kind of overkill. Two primers, a lot I guess because we didn't get many other things we also got the moisturizer we got the lipstick the blush the full-size eyeliner which i did like a lot and the eyeshadow crayon as well as the skin hero by aborian so a little bit of everything to try but let me know your thoughts in the comments did you manage to get hold of this i'll put the info under the video if it works for you assuming the gift is still in stock like i said it kind of popped up on my website randomly when i was looking sometimes it wasn't there but it still kind of works for me so i think it depends on if you've had the gift before obviously if you've already had this gift you can't get it again but i'll put it there anyway just in case it is of interest to you and i'll also link these items that i've bought as well underneath if you would like to check them out if you are brand new to space nk they do usually have a code going for a discount on your first order i think it's 15 percent, but you won't be able to use that with the gift so maybe if you can't get a gift that would be the option also doesn't work on sale items so i really hope you've enjoyed watching this video everything in this video was of course bought by me i really appreciate all of your support if you do decide to click any of the links from the video and make a purchase i may get a small commission it doesn't cost you any extra but it does help to support the channel Thank you so much for watching. I'd love it if you give the video a thumbs up. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm producing and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.